वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन तैयारी माई नेम इज अमित एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एज टू हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई दीज नंबर राइट देर इज नो कोरिलेशन इन दीज नंबर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू डिजिट नंबर मल्टीप्लाइंग थ्री डिजिट नंबर एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर मल्टीप्लाई टू डिजिट नंबर विद थर्ड डिजिट नंबर वट इज वट इज पिकल सिमिलरिटी आउट हियर द सिमिलरिटी आउट हियर इज दिस नंबर वन these numbers should be close to each other so if you see if you see 99 and 93 are getting multiplied numbers are somehow closer to each other 103 is getting multiplied with 108 numbers are closer to each other what is rule number 2 out here rule number 2 is these numbers should be close to some base of 10 so these two numbers are closer to 10 and for this n is 1 so these two numbers are closer to each other number 1 number 2 they are closer to 10 is to power 1 how about this closer to each other and closer to 10 is to power 1 closer to each other closer to 10 is to power 1 how about this one now are they closer yes are they closer to 10 is to power 2 yes because these two numbers are closer to 100 so base rule says that your numbers must be closer to either 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10000 that's it and then they are closer to each other now let us see what is the technique out here now we will uh, we will consider our base this number 12 out here is two more than the base number and this number 13 is three more than our base number what are we going to do with these base numbers Or say XS is I'm going to multiply two and three. If I multiply and two and three, what is that I'm going to get? I'm going to get six out here, right? So what did you do with XS? You have got the product out here. Now the next step is do the cross addition. Now listen to me very carefully. I am not saying it has to be cross multiplication. All that I'm trying to say is it has to be cross addition. Twelve plus three is fifteen. How about three plus two? It's also fifteen. Now you do whatever you want to do. These two cross additions will give you the same result. And in this case, twelve plus three or thirteen plus two, both of them are giving us fifteen. So what is this answer? One fifty-six. So twelve times thirteen is nothing but one fifty-six. Now let us do this one. The third example out here. Are they closer to each other? Yes. Are they closer to 10 is to power 1? Yes. So what should be our base out here? 10 has to be our base. This number is 2 more than our base. This number is 4 more than our base. What are we going to do now? We are going to multiply these two excesses. When you multiply these two, what is that you are going to get? Which is 2 times 4 is 8. Now do the cross addition. The cross addition is going to give you what? Twelve times plus four. Twelve plus four comes out as sixteen, and four plus two again is sixteen. So what is this answer? One sixty-eight. I hope you are understanding the technique out here. What am I going to do in this case? In this second example, this number is seven more than ten. This number is eight more than ten. And if you multiply these two excesses, seven times eight will give you fifty-six. Now, since you cannot accommodate the whole of fifty-six, only six has to be written out here. Five will go ahead as you carry forward, right? And then the second step is do the cross addition. So, seventeen plus eight will give you twenty-five. Eighteen plus seven will give you twenty-five. Now, twenty-five. Plus the carry forward, which was five from the earlier step, that is thirty. So here is your answer. That is three zero six. So three zero six is going to be answer to seventeen times eighteen. I hope you are getting the technique. Now we can solve this seventeen into eighteen by taking some other base, but that I am going to do in the next video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Please watch it out. and see as to how we are going to multiply these numbers till then bye bye and take care and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel
Take care, people. Bye-bye.